John cross faces, hide behind the short frames, pass it off, we bump, build, hip hoist, and I get my knee behind. As soon as I get to a hand pose, I want to keep my head nice and high, active elbow position. If John tries to cross face me on the stage, I just tuck my chin into my shoulder. Stay on the octopus grip, keep coming up with his right hand, and then this exposes his own back. Here. And it's a really important detail. Stop John from chasing my back. I get my hips connected to John's hips and I punch it down lock. And this allows me to go into back body lock. So, Alright, so 3, 2, 1. John gets the half guard, he's chest to chest. Maybe he switches to reverse half or maybe if we go back, John switches to reverse half guard. If this happens, I get the octopus grip. So that's pinky in the armpit and we'll, we'll talk about details in that minute. Maybe John's going heavy on the cross face and then what I'll do is I'll pass the cross face hand up, pinky into the armpit. Big complaint here is basically people find it hard to come up on this pose. So John, if you put pressure on my elbow, you can see it's kind of hard. So what I'll do is I'll grab the shin, I'm gonna bump my left knee into his right hip to get weight on this left leg. And I basically do like a leg press to help me come up on this post. All right, so that's the detail that you wanna get. So common complaint is John, if you keep pressure on me, is people find it hard to come up on this post. Literally take the shin grip, take the foot off the floor. My knee goes into his hip pocket on the far side. And I'm also pulling with this octopus grip. So I'm getting the weight on his left side to get loaded. My shoulders are off the floor. And then all I do is leg press to come up onto an elbow post and then eventually a hand post. So that's gonna be our first piece, yeah? Three, two, one. Either John switches to reverse half guard and then I get the octopus grip, or maybe John's trying to cross face me. I hide behind these short frames. I pass the cross face hand off my frames. Pinky goes into the armpit. I like to try grab the shin and take the foot off the floor. I keep it in the half guard grip, so I'm giving a strong back heel. I'm using my knee to bump. I'm using my left grip to pull, and my right hand to bring him onto my right side. Or if he just commits to keeping his weight here, there's a roll through, kind of can't do But once I kind of get the weight loaded on his left side, I just end and I start coming up. As soon as I get to a hand pose, I want to keep my head nice and high, active elbow position. If John tries to cross face me on the stage, I just tuck my chin into my shoulder. So the next technique that we want is we're going to use our left foot and our right hand to help us do like a hip bump. This will allow me to pull out the half guard grip, which is my right leg. On our first technique, I build a wall behind him, so I put my left knee behind John's hips. If John tries to crush me, or he tries to resist, I want to get some height straight away. So that means get your head and your hips over your training partner's head and hips. And basically what I'm going to do is just back step around, and I'm just going to put John into side control ball. Alright, so we'll do it again. John cross faces, height behind the short frames, pass it off. We bump, build, hip hoist, and I get my knee behind. If I find that John's putting pressure on me, stand up taller than your opponent, and it should help you out. I back set my leg behind my training partner's legs and then we go into our side control position, step into mount and so on. Yeah? 3, 2, 1. I bump like I'm trying to try to sweep, extend, and I come up on my right hand. We press our left foot on the floor, we take our hips up off the floor, but not only that, big detail to concentrate on is, I put my left hip into John's right hip, here, and I get him to go tall. Once I stand on both feet, I want to get height straight away, and then I'm going to win the scrambles. And all I basically do is keep back stepping behind, and I'm going to think about putting John the outside of his left knee, left hip, and shoulder on the floor. Here, and then you get a nice smooth pin. To stop John from countering me, so John keep going to like an octopus counter if you're still. Anyway, he can use the grip to stop this, stop John countering me, we just step over into mount. If he's two choices here. One to go flat and give up mount, so if you, if you let go of John, mount, which is good, or to stay on the octopus grip, keep coming up with his right hand, and then this exposes his own back. Here. Alright, so if you go into the mount and he continues with the octopus grip, you'll take the back, and if he goes flat, you'll get the mount. All right, so he goes reverse half, or maybe I pass off the cross face hand. Same setup as the last time. Come up on our hand post, hip hoist, connect the left hip into your opponent's right hip, free your right leg. If I circle to my right and John closes the door on this side, so if you don't have it, yeah, he goes like you can build as well, John, if you want. And if I find he shuts this side off, what I do is I reach the far hip, and it's a really important detail. Stop John from chasing my back. I get my hips connected to John's hips, and I punch it down lock. And this allows me to go into back body lock. So 
So John goes to reverse half, bump, open our right hand, hip highs, connect the hip to trainer partner's hip, he stands, he closes the door on that side, so he needs space on this side. So I chase the far hip, I connect my hips to John's hips, and then I punch it down, lock around, and lock my hands, we work our back body off the Three, two, one.